Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Hey, Ron Cosby, how you feeling? I'm doing well, man. Yourself, happy Monday to you. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday to you. Thank you. Thank how was how's your weekend? It was good? It was good, man. It was it, it was good. Um, can't complain. It's it's gotten cold now. It is yes. It's, it's cold here too as well. Yeah. It, those 80 and 70 degree days over. It's yeah, over. Like 30, 35 degrees. It's it's cold. Man. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, what's going on in the world of sports? Well, my squad has a bye this week. Um, we are six and three on top of the AFC North, and um, we're on a three-game winning streak, and um, we're doing well. Uh, the Falcons, I believe that they lost. They did. Um, the, the Buccaneers won, so the the Buccaneers are now on top of the NFC South, and um, but it's still, I mean, it's it's close. Um, there's yeah. no, you know, none of them are, you know, great teams. So, um, yeah. So we'll see what happens there. I'm actually watching um, Monday Night Football now, and um, it's Philadelphia against Washington. Yeah, yeah. You said who? Ravens. Commanders. Commanders. Okay. I thought I said Raider. Yeah. No. Commanders. We I gotta get used to to, to I don't know. At first no. I was doing commanders. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, it's, it's, it's it's yeah. It's, it's um it's it's different. It's different. But yeah. yeah, the commanders are last I checked, they are um down. Oh actually, oh half no, they're time. up 2014. They're up 20 to 14. Man, uh, they Yo, what? Okay, it was seven to fourteen, Philly, and okay, all right, Commander. Yeah. All right, all right. You got any um, you know, questions or anything or any comments with regards to to sports lately? Let me ask you. What do you think about me and my brother had this conversation, um, when I was in Portland about the Kyrie um, Irving um. You know, all the backlash for his, you know, so-called um, anti-Semitic comments or, or sharing the book. Um, but they were saying that, you know, because a lot of people spoke out saying that he was wrong for it. Um, but they said that he has apologized. LeBron said he's apologized. He should be able to play. Um, and then Amazon was under fire because you are criticizing Kyrie but Amazon's still selling the book that he was sharing. And so um, my brother thinks there's a bigger agenda as relates to Kanye, as relates to Curry, and now Dave Chappelle um, with his recent um, uh, monologue on SNL. What do you think about this? Okay, I will say this. The whole you know, freedom of speech, freedom of speech, People, you have to understand that applies federally. You cannot be arrested or in prison for yours for what you say. That does not mean that you cannot um, lose, lose jobs, sponsorships, yes. lose, lose jobs. You know that that there are consequences, there are consequences. To, to your speech. Yes, yes. So this, this again, this freedom of speech thing, it only it, it applies to the government. The government cannot um, arrest you or imprison you for what you say. That doesn't mean that you cannot lose your job or your sponsorships and your endorsements and all these other things and, and get criticized and everything. Like, so, yeah. so that, that's what I say on that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, no, no, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Um, now, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone because I was, I was going to kind of go there a little bit more with, I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of people are saying that it's, be, that Dave Chappelle and Kyrie and Kanye, that they're being targeted because they're black, I guess they're mm -hmm. black men and they're not able to you know express their 
there. Well, what, what my brother was was explaining because I'm not well versed on anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was doing some research, but I still that's why I haven't really talked about it on the show a lot because I don't want to speak out of line. Right. I do believe that it's not up to us to determine what offends another group. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just like black people were offended by things. It shouldn't be someone who's not black telling us, well, that wasn't that big of a deal. You know, um, my brother thinks, or what one of the comments he made, I won't speak for him, but he was saying that pretty much what these, what um, Kanye and what Kyrie, Kyrie were saying, it was saying that the black people were chosen first, not the Jews. And so that's where the clash is. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want to go into it because I don't know. Yeah, it's less, it's less, less not. Okay. But that's what he was saying. And he said, and for them speaking, and apparently that's biblical, what mm -hmm. they're saying, and the fact that it's being viewed as anti Semitic. Mm -hmm. um, but again, that's something I have to do more research on. I can yeah, say because it. then you're going into religion, and not that everybody believes in the Bible, you know. Yeah. Religion. And you know, just because you believe something doesn't get it, yeah, yeah, it's but I do agree. He apologized, he should be able to play, you know. Good for all, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, at I first, mean, he didn't apologize, he took he took down the post or whatever he did, shared, he took that down, and he um, he made some kind of statement, but he didn't apologize. But then he actually did apologize, and then recently, he tweeted something like, He's not the person to. He's not political. He's not speaking on people's politics or religion, things like mm -hmm. that. That shouldn't be on him yeah. to yeah. speak on. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, I, I, don't, I just think that with Kyrie, um, it's good that he apologized. If he felt like apologizing, now, I, Stephen, I do not believe that a person should apologize just because they're told to apologize. Mm -hmm. You should apologize if you are sincere about it. Right, yeah. And if you're not sincere about it, then stand 10 toes down on in it. And whatever happens, happens. If that's- You know, I thought, you, what, I, yeah. what I thought was interesting, you know, the same thing happened to Nick Cannon a few years ago, um, where he was about to lose everything, you know, because he uh, made these comments and he actually did the work. He met with people in that community and he learned from his comments how it was offensive. But he also recently spoke on behalf of Kyrie in saying that I know him and I know he's not anti-Semitic. You know, so I was, it was, to me, it was, I was kind of surprised that he stuck his foot back in that conversation when he escaped it, you know what I mean? But that's your boy, you know, you look out for him, so, you know. Nick got his own stuff going on. Don't he got like, what, well, five kids? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. He has an NFL roster, man. An an NFL starting um, offensive or defensive line. I mean, you know, yeah. he's got e e eleven on the field, and I think right. a twelfth one's coming, right? No, twelve one, twelve one. Yeah, he just he just had one. Um, another one. But I will say, I will, even though I think it's kind of reckless. Even whether he can afford it or not, it's kind of hard to raise 12 kids by different moms. But I will say that if you look at the good side of it, a lot of them are with the same moms. You know what I mean? So like he's having multiple kids with the same moms, even though I think it's crazy. At least it's not 12 women. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's 12 kids by maybe four women or, or five. Women. Maybe it's more than four, but yeah. Five. But, I, yeah, I, I think it's five. Yeah, somewhere like that. I, I saw somewhere where, where it's five. Okay. Well, I mean, what's it? Own. Live, live, live free and multiply, whatever. Live, you know, he, he's taking that to heart. You know, someone so, said that someone said they're gonna tell their kids that uh Nick Cannon and Kiki Wire were Adam and Eve. <laughs> oh, because baby, they both are. Miss Kiki oh Miss Kiki. And she wants she, another one. She said she wants one more. Miss Kiki, mm, I wish you no, no, for real, ma'am. You all, all respect. I, yeah, I, I enjoy Kiki. I think she is amazing talent and just oh, yeah, amazing she, person. I love her, her energy, her personality, all that. 
if if she wants a hundred, ma'am, have me. Mm-hmm. If Nick wants 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 a hundred, go for it. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not judging. I don't judge. I'm not judging people. Live your life, do your thing. If y'all want them, more power to you. Enjoy. For real. Straight up. All 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 respect. All respect. That's all I got in the sports though, man. Well, we'll leave it there. Uh, <laughs> Aaron, have a good one. And I'll take it from an from an only child's perspective also. Right. So, an only yeah. child, exactly. So I, I would love to have had like brothers and sisters all uh-huh. around. Well, you had a team with the, Bruh, those parents. <laughs> oh, yes. More mama. Make some more baby daddy. Come on. Sure. Get some more babies. Yes. Make them. I'll be cheering for them and all that. Yes. So, yeah. All right, Aaron. Well, have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Right back at the